Are you considering taking the Salesforce Certified MuleSoft Associate Exam? Do you want to know if it's the right fit for you? I passed this exam this past week, so I can give you the insider's perspective on what to expect. We'll also walk through who should take it, what to expect on the exam, my study approach, and areas to focus that will help you pass this exam. So piggybacking off my last two Salesforce certification videos, this is another in Salesforce's associate exam series. These are entry-level certifications to Salesforce's ecosystem. The certified MuleSoft associate is meant for those who will be working as part of a MuleSoft project team. It focuses on the knowledge of core integration and application programming interfaces via API-led API connectivity. So why is this important? Organizations generate 27% of their revenue from API and related implementations. Yet only 18% of organizations say that they can integrate in user experiences per MuleSoft's 2021 Connectivity Benchmark Report. Also, the average organization has 991 applications, yet only 28% of them are currently integrated. There's a lot of opportunity for improvement, which is where MuleSoft can come in and help. Like other associate exams, the MuleSoft associate doesn't dig too deep into the execution and implementation. It is best used as a high level resource of understanding the core concepts that you will use and put into practice in MuleSoft. The MuleSoft associate exam has 40 questions and you have 70 minutes to complete it. Most questions had one correct answer, but I did run across a couple that ask you to choose the best two answers. The exam cost is $75 US and comes with free retake options. Your passing grade is 70%. There are no prerequisites and no maintenance required after you pass the exam. The content breaks down as follows. 17% around identifying the roles, responsibilities, life cycle of an integration project. 20% on recognizing and interpreting the essential integration concepts and terminology. 17% around recognizing the common integration problems and use cases and technical solutions. 18% of explaining the common technical complexities and patterns in integration development. 18% around describing the components and benefits of the AnyPoint platform for system integration, as well as 10% describing the components and benefits of the AnyPoint platform for API management. So this exam was challenging, but easy to pass with the right preparation. I scored around an 85% and it took 24 minutes for me to complete the exam. I came into this exam with an, an extensive background in software development, but I had not done much hands-on work in MuleSoft. For me, all of the programming basics around API development and communication fell into place rather easily. Knowing what I know now, I would have focused more time on all things around MuleSoft AnyPoints platform, which is by far where I was the weakest. Regarding my preparation, I worked through the trail mix for the exam, and I took the official practice test Salesforce recommends. I also used a set of flashcards that I found off Quizlet. I'll include links to all three of these resources in the description below. Overall, I spent about a week preparing for this exam, allocating about 30 minutes to an hour per day. So regarding areas of focus, I would start with the exam guide. It does provide a nice high-level roadmap of the exam, it's fairly comprehensive. Here are some of the concepts that I saw represented on the exam. Compare the benefits and challenges of the microservice versus the monolithic architecture approaches. Differentiate between vertical and horizontal scaling. Explain the role of service mesh versus API gateway. Identify the differences between runtime and control plane in the AnyPoint platform. Interpret HD HTTP response codes accurately. Explore the concepts of API design first and code first approaches. Recognize the file formats of JSON and XML. Describe the roles of the MuleSoft team and the responsibilities across project phases. Analyze common factors contributing to IT delivery gaps. Apply the MuleSoft Catalyst approach to delivery. Break down the components of API-led connectivity. Explain the purpose of a customer resource management system. Identify the functions of components like Maven and MUnit. Explain API specifications, such as OAS and RAML. 
Distinguish between multicast, catch, one way, and request reply messaging patterns. Compare aggregation, orchestration, and choreography patterns. Outline the key platforms, components of the endpoint platform. If you use the free resources at your disposal and dig deeper into the areas you are weak, you'll pass this exam. It can be a great foundational success for your Salesforce integration journey. So thank you for taking a few minutes to explore Salesforce's certified MuleSoft Associate exam with me today. If you found this content beneficial, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel. I am targeting six Salesforce certifications in 2025, so I'd love to notify you when we release these videos. Lastly, if your team could use a trusted partner to help you navigate the integration challenges of Salesforce, please reach out to us at improving.com. We have a team of seasoned professionals who would love to discuss how we might be able to help. I wish you the best of luck in your upcoming Salesforce certified MuleSoft Associate exam. After you successfully pass this exam, please circle back to this post and give us some, your thoughts about the exam. What was your experience like? Until next time.